Absolutely. Well, more than 30 million Americans have diabetes. Yeah, and about 1.5 million new cases are diagnosed each and every year. It's estimated about 5% of those cases, too, are type 1 diabetes. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here to explain the very important differences in types and how it hits close to home for one local family. Haley? That's right, guys. Well, I'm looking at type 1 diabetes, which was previously called juvenile diabetes, but now it's just called type 1 because it can develop at any age. If it goes undiagnosed, it can be deadly. Otherwise, it is a manageable disease, but it requires constant management. It's 7 a.m. and identical twins Allie and Brooke have already pricked their fingers at least once. Allie was up in the middle of the night trying to get enough sugar to normalize her levels. It alarmed uh, 3 a.m. and we had to get up and treat that blood sugar and give her juice. For type 1 diabetes, juice and candy can be life-saving. The girls take it to school and technology like this continuous glucose monitor sends alerts to the family's phones when blood sugar levels are off. When I drop, I get shaky and sometimes I have a stomach ache. Genetics can play a role in type 1, and that's why when Allie was diagnosed and hospitalized as a kindergartner, her parents knew there was a chance Brooke would follow. Several years later, both girls battled the disease. It is 24-7, 365 days a year. At nighttime, we are managing the disease. You never get a break. And mom worries about their future. When you're living by themselves, are they going to wake up? There may not be anyone there to help them. We worry about when they start driving, you know, watching the blood sugars for, for when you're driving or, you know, when they're 21 and they want to start going and having a glass of wine or, or drink. There's, there's specific ways you have to handle diabetes with doing that as well. Dr. Daniel DeSalvo, endocrinologist at Texas Children's Hospital, lives with type 1 himself and says the most common warning signs parents miss is extreme thirst and frequent urination. The onset of type 1 diabetes is, is fairly acute and sudden. And the symptoms are often confused with other illnesses. For example, a viral illness, stomach flu, a urinary tract infection or a bladder infection. But he says patients can still live a normal life. Brooke and Allie are such go-getters, they sometimes have to be sidelined. Last night at soccer practice, I was like 50, and I felt really low and I had to sit out. And like, I don't like that because like, I want to continue my activities. But unlike most kids their age, they are experts on their health. Now, Dr. DeSalvo says type 1 diabetes is less common than type 2. About 5% of people with diabetes have type 1. Currently, no one knows how to prevent type 1 diabetes, but it can be managed by following your doctor's recommendations and living a healthy lifestyle, controlling your blood sugar, and getting regular health checkups. I do have more on the warning signs of type 1. You can go to our website, click2houston.com, and find all of that information under the health section. And I know there's a lot of great efforts right now for research in this particular area. Yeah, and as we're seeing is technology's coming a long mm -hmm. way. So they don't have to prick their finger quite as often as they yeah. used to. You know, they used to do it 10, 12 times a day. Now um, they're able to do that less yeah. because the technology on their phone's monitoring it for them. It's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, coming a long way. All it right, is. Haley, thank you so much. We Thanks, appreciate guys. it.